In this video, I will discuss manual differential white cell counting. Differential leukocyte count determines the number of each type of white blood cells present in the blood. There are five white blood cell types. Neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes and monocytes. First, you have to check the macroscopic appearance of the slide. The film must not be too thin or too thick. The tail of the film should be smooth. Microscopic appearance. Scan the slide under the low power. Determine the overall staining quality of the slide. Check whether the staining is uniform throughout the slide. Then you check whether the slide is overstained or understained. Scan for the staining deposit or artifacts on the smear. While scanning the low power, you can detect platelet clumps or platelet aggregation. And also you can see fibrin strands. WBC agglutination can be see the edges and the tail end of the film. If the few number of abnormal cells are present, it is easy to find under the low power. Proto formation and red cell agglutination can be identified under the low power. Sometimes you can see the parasite-like microfilaria while scanning the slide under the low power. If the film is too thin or if a rough edge spreader is used, Many of the white cells, even 50% of them, accumulate at the edges and the tail end of the slide. Polymorphonuclear neutrophils and monocytes predominate at the margin and the tail end of the smear. Lymphocyte predominant in the middle of the smear. This separation depends on differences in stickiness size and specific gravity of the different types of cells. Scan the slide under the high power to detect size, shape and staining quality of the red blood cells. Oil immersion is used for the final examination of unusual cells. Then counting techniques, battlement technique. Examine the blood film under the high power objective. Select an area where the red cells are just beginning to overlap. Now we will see the different part of the smear. This is the body. This is the feather edge. The feather edge is going to be a little bit too thin. Between those two areas, we use to find out white blood cell differential and red blood cell morphology. This is the microscopic view. You might see the fields of view on your side. In the upper le left, we will see the field is too thin. When it is too thin, we can see lot of white spaces in between the red blood cells. In the upper right corner, you can see where the field view is too thick. Here the red blood cells are getting together and overlap. It is difficult to identify one cell from another. In the lower left corner, the film is suitable for counting. Here the red blood cells are in monolayer. Lastly, the lower right corner, feather edge. We don't use to a this area to count cells. Once the slide is focused, then you have to scan the slide to locate the area which is going to be counted. We can see the cells. Over here, it is little bit too thin. The other side of the area is little bit overlapping and monolayer of the red cells. Examine the blood film by battlement technique. Count 100 white cells. In battlement technique, cells are counted 3 fields along the edge, then 2 fields away from the edge. Two fields along the edge and again two fields back to the edge. 
the sequences repeated the minimum of 100 cells have been counted longitudinal method again use high power objective count in a strip running the whole length of the film 100 cells are counted from the head to the tail from the single narrow strip examine one or more additional strips until 100 cells have been counted this technique is easy to carry out for the high WBC counts. The results of the differential count can be recorded in the WHO modified chart. Here 10 cells are recorded in each row. When 10 cells have been recorded, move to the next row. When 10 cells have been recorded all the 10 rows, a total of 100 white cells would be have to be counted. Or you can use digital mechanical cell counters or the tally counters. When the total of 100 cells have been counted, there is an alarm ringing. The number of each cell type are read from the display window in the decimal fraction. Report in the differential leukocyte count. The differential count expressed as the percentage of the each type of cells. Calculation of absolute counts should be related to the total leukocyte count and the results should be reported in absolute numbers 10 to the power 9 per liter. As an example, Percentage of neutrophil counted 70%. The total WBC count is 8 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. The decimal fraction of neutrophil count is 0 0.7. Therefore, the absolute neutrophil count is equal to 0 0.7 into 8 into 10 to the power 9. It is equal to 5.6 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. Corrections in WBC count in the presence of nucleated red blood cells. When nucleated red blood cells are present, they will be included in the total WBC count. If they are present in significant numbers, the total nucleated cell count should be corrected to obtain the true total WBC count. Count 100 white cells and count all the NRBCs while counting those 100 white cells. The corrected WBC count is equal to uncorrected WBC count multiplied by 100 divided by NRBC plus 100. As an example, the total WBC count is 8 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. The percentage of NRBCs of the differential count is 25%. Therefore, the corrected WBC count is equal to uncorrected WBC count multiplied by 100 divided by NRBC plus 100. It is equal to 8 into 10 to the power 9 into 100 divided by 25 plus 100. The corrected WBC count is equal to 6.4 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. Should differentiate small lymphocytes from nucleated red blood cells. Thank you.